everybody mad cause I'm taking all G4s and I'm fucking all they whores and I pull off in the Porsche. Huh? All right, so we are ba 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 buck. It's your boy Friday, Ricky Tread, aka Monsieur Rick, and we're back with another top ten tracks in Toronto. Yeah, we're we're back with another hot list right now. Do remember before we start, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please make sure to hit that notification button so you know when we're dropping new videos. And make sure to leave your comments below and like or dislike if you don't like the video um, of what we're going to be putting down. We're going to be talking about our top 10 tracks in Toronto for all the tracks that we've accumulated across Canada. As well as we give our industry tips of the week as usual and weekly news. Do remember, hit up our website welovehiphop.ca for all news, interviews, updates on a regular regular basis all right so we love hiphop.ca and big up to dill stewart for helping me put this list together you're going to be seeing part of the list over here um in toronto and the rest of that list you'll probably be seeing when i'm on my trip in montreal so bear with me as we drop this shit so let's get to the list right here first on our list kilo love turns into hate so if I get the drop, bet that nigga won't make it home tonight Was never known to fight, pull up on his block, catch him slipping Couldn't stand being broke, so I had to make a decision Big, big, big tune Very bar heavy tune right there The flows are nasty on that one right there Dope graphics on the video as well, you know what I'm saying? Kilo's doing his thing, you know what I mean? Part of the Don't Get Close family, big up to Roni, big up to the whole family And yeah, 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 yeah Love that tune right there. One of my favorites on the list right now. Next on our list, though, Peter Jackson, None of You. Playing with my fortune is somebody gotta die. Yeah, yeah. Big up to Peter Jackson. Dope, dope tune. Love the love the sentimental value on that tune right there. You know what I'm saying? He's spitting some real shit. A tune about betrayal. And the visuals are really, really dope. It's like a mini movie going on right there. Big up to Peter Jackson. The track is fire. The beat is fire as well with that guitar riff going on, guitar sample going on through the beat. So it's a real, real tough tune, tough video. Big up to you, Peter Jackson. And that's We Love Hip Hop alumni. Make sure to check out his interview on our website, welovehiphop.ca. Next on our list, though, Young Flip and Burner Bands, Flash. My brother keep a heater. Rocking so much ice, I hope I don't catch a fever. Shorty on me, she don't want me to leave her. She love my shoes, but these just my beat us. Yep, big up to Young Flip. Big up to Kevin Roberts on that video right there. They got a real dope baddie in that video right there, shaking her ha shaking her ass through the video. And yeah, 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 yeah. Dope tune right there. Big up to Young Flip. He's Six Views alumni. Make sure to check out his interview that we have up on our YouTube channel right now. And yeah, Burner Bands also comes through, kills it with a really, really dope verse. He doesn't appear in the video. However, he does kill it with a really dope verse at the end of that track right there. So big up to you, Young Flip, and big up to Burner Bands. Next on our list, though, Pyrex, know me. Mm-hmm. Big up to Pyrex. Big up to the whole Rex. Yeah, very dope video. He's really, really in a sentimental pocket right there. And that's that perfect pocket that I really like to, um, to hear Pyrex in. You know what I'm saying? Um, love to see the We Love Hip Hop alumni in the video with him doing cameos. I see Moolah first in the video. I see Young Lava in the video. And yeah, I love to see that brotherly unity. And it's just a really, really dope vibe. Really dope tune right there. Big up to Pyrex doing big things. And we're looking to get Pyrex real, real soon on the We Love Hip Hop podcast. You heard? Next on our list, though, Wizzy with the Glizzy Murder. Plays like I'm Randy Moss. Keep a stick on me like I play lacrosse. I'm jogging, I'm trapping, I'm serving, lurking, putting that work in. We don't know. Yes, big, big, big tune. Big up to Wizzy with the Glizzy. That's We Love Hip Hop alumni. We're looking to get an interview with him by himself as well. Murder Beats on that beat. Murder on the beat, so it's not nice. Crazy beat by Murder Beats, and Wizzy just kills it lyrically 
all the way through the track. So big up to you, Wizzy. Big up, big up, big to the whole Rex right there. Next on our list, though, K Money and J Money, Aqua. Put the gun to your lip like some lip chop. I got a big stack, you a mismatch. I've been getting money, you a piff man. Big, 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 big tune right there. Big up to K Money, free the guys. Big up to J Money as well, doing his thing on that track. You know what I'm saying? I like to see K Money still producing videos right now as he's uh, dealing with his incarceration and dealing with his case. And yeah, you know, seeing seeing the little boy in the video representing the K Money figure, and it's really, really dope tune right there. Big up, big up, big up. Next on our list though, representing MTL, the verse. Shut up. And make it flip. True. If you ain't hustling, then you cannot keep up with your bitch. Might as well send it to me. Might as well send it to Pete. Yeah, yeah, job. Big, 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 big tune right there. Big up the verse. Bars on deck right there. Representing Montreal. You know what I'm saying? He's dropping that real, real shit right there in the track. Really love to see um, additions from Montreal on this list. That's usually a predominantly Toronto list. So big up to you, Verse. You know what I'm saying? Looking forward to having an interview with you as well. Maybe we could drop an interview or have an interview on our trip to Montreal. By the time people are seeing this, I'll probably be on my way back. And hopefully I'll have an interview in the tuck. So uh, look out for that right there. Next on our list, though. JoJo featuring Burner Bands. Lazy. Mm hmm. Big, big tune. Big up to JoJo. Big up to Burner Bands. JoJo's a new addition to our list. I seen that pop up on the Up Top Movements um, YouTube channel, and he kills it right there. Drop it, um, rocking the crazy fur in the video, and then Burner Bands appearing again on our list right now on a feature killing it with the with the with the ending verse right there so big up to burner bands big up to jojo big up to the whole up top movement all right so let's continue our list here um and like i said before we started the list over there in toronto and like i said we are here in montreal now i'm here in the telly and we're continuing our list but like i said before i need you the people to narrow this list down to six people or six songs and from those six songs we're going to figure out who's going to be the number one song in toronto this week and we're going to be letting y'all know via the we love hip-hop podcast audios that drop every thursday morning on all streaming platforms so next on our list mula first and chelsea badass amnesia me in miami with act on me go ahead take a nap on me Chelsea rolling up the rapper weed. All, all these bitches want beef, but you ain't. F big, big tune. It seems that Rexdale has come out super heavy this week as far as our top 10 list. Mula First has added his entry in there. Um, crazy video, a lot of dope graphics and just crazy scenery going on in that video right there. And, and big up to him and Chelsea Badass for the back and forward that they're doing in that track right there. Real, real fire tune. And also make sure to check that um, interview that we have with Mula First on We Love Hip Hop Network on our channel right now, as well as we love hip hop.ca. We love hip hop alumni. Last but not least on our list right here, Black of the Dawn, Time of Day. Find a way, said I want me a bird. Not that type that be flying away. She think that I'm cuffing, but girl, we just fucking, I ain't got the time of day. My ever Big, big, big tune. Big up to Black of the Dawn. Again, we love hip hop alumni right there, two times. He's back in with a crazy, crazy tune. Always very, very consistent. Bar heavy on that tune right there. And yeah, yeah, a lot of crazy graphics going on with the, with the with with just the scenery going on in that video right there. Really, really dope vibe, you know what I'm saying? And it's some real turn up shit right there. So big up to you, Black of the Dawn. And look out for his interviews as well on the We Love Hip Hop Network's channel as well as welovehiphop.ca. Couple more things I wanna mention before we leave. Um, the Grammys went down a couple nights ago. Big up to Drizzy, um, Drizzy Drake, you know, taking home the Best Rap of the Year award as well as a few other awards. And also big up to Chromas, you know what I mean? Getting that quick little shout out by Drake, you know, the 
Jump a little early, right? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say uh, the mayor of Toronto needs to turn the CN Tower gold tomorrow. I'm chrome and gold. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? little subliminal shout out that he did right there you know what i mean showing that he's paying attention to everything that's going on in the hip-hop scene including the we love hip-hop podcast um and yeah big up to drake for winning that award it's been a long time that he's been getting snubbed from the awards and it's good to see us you know um us as a city toronto making that progression and covering all of the awards that we need to you know what i'm saying um also in other rapper or toronto rapper news tory lanes um let's discuss this we're going to be discussing it a little bit more when we get to the we love hip-hop podcast this week but is Tory Lanez a bully um he recently got into a confrontation with Ottawa rapper Dax um over a beef uh, a beef track that Dax came out with you know a little diss this track you know since Tory's been taking all challengers Dax decided he's gonna throw his hat in the ring Tory Lanez you better stay in your lane stick to rapping about the bitches money cars and cocaine I ain't hating because I know you putting food on your plate but if you have no and he came back with a dope little track, and Tory Lane seemed to have taken offense to that. He bumped into Dax in the middle of the streets, and he just told, he forced him to apologize to him. Apologize, nigga. I got you, bro. Apologize, nigga. I got you, man. Say sorry, nigga. My bad for the Say track, sorry, G. nigga. Sorry, G. All right, bet. I got you. Um, I need to know from you, the comment gang. Do you think Tory Lanez is a bully? Do you think that Tory Lanez would have that same kind of energy if him and Don Q ran into each other in public? Okay, I'm really, I'm a really big fan of Tory Lanez's music right now. However, in my personal opinion, he's capping a little bit too much right now. All right, but let me know what y'all think below. Okay, and um, you know, we'll talk about it a little bit more later on this week. Last thing, um, I know I like to give industry tips and i really appreciate the fans out there the supporters out there you know showing your love showing the comments letting me know that you appreciate these industry tips and that they've been that they've been helpful to you okay so um this week i'm going to give maybe not as much of an industry tip but in my own personal opinion what i think what i look for in a rapper in a dope rapper when i the stuff that i listen to in my car you know what i mean i listen to a lot of kendrick i listen to future i listen to a, a variety of different things right um from drake to um freddie gibbs i'm listening to in my in my car so i'm not just listening to one style of hip-hop you know what i mean um but there's one fundamental thing that i like about everybody who i listen to um and the people who i think become real hip-hop stars so here are five things and this is not just limited to five things but these are five things that i look for in a rapper okay number one bars okay it doesn't have to be nas jay-z level type bars that i'm talking about or being super complex you know what i mean lyrical miracle shit i'm just talking about are you clever do you got some punch lines that hit me every once in a while you know what i'm saying are you making good metaphors instead of like shitty metaphors are you reusing a lot of bars that people have done a million times right I'm not trying to hear reused bars, you know, it's really hard to come up with new metaphors, but if you're coming up with new ones, that means you're a good rapper, you know what I'm saying? Next, um, I would look at song making ability. Can you actually make a song, right? You know, do your hooks stick in my mind? Um, are they connecting in any kind of way? Like, um, this, you have some kind of emotional connection when you make a song, right? Whether it's me being happy, sad, motivated, angry, have you emoted some kind of it? Have you got some kind of emotions out of me when I'm listening to it, right? So do you know how to make a song? It's very important. So no matter how much you have bars, you might not be able to make a song, right? And this is the trap that a lot of battle rappers fall into a lot of times because they're really super duper rappers, but they can't make a song for their life, right? So can you make a song? Are you in the pocket? Okay, that's number three. Are you in the pocket, right? Um, that's flows, right? Do you have flows? Um, are you in the pocket or do you come out of the pocket intentionally because that's just what you wanted to do to get your point across or you just don't know where the pocket is? You wouldn't even be able to catch the pocket if you had like a 20 foot mitt, right? Are you in the pocket? Do you know how to flow, right? That's very important. Like even if you have crazy bars, if your flows are whack, I don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So do you really actually know how to flow and stay in the pocket? Very important to me. Okay. Um, number four I have on my list here is stage presence. Do you have stage presence? Can you rock the crowd? Are you able to make the people feel something in person? Okay. So um, when you're on stage, uh, are you rapping over your beats? 
or are you lip syncing even? Like a lot of rappers I see these days that are coming up, they're pretty much lip syncing when they do a, a stage performance. It, that's cool, you know, but at the same time for what I like, for what I personally like, I like to hear the rapper rap their bars. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's um, that, that um, what's quote unquote mumble rap, I even want to hear that live, you know what I'm saying? Even if you have to put some auto-tune on the mic or whatever, are you able to perform what you did in the studio on stage? That's very important. And then when you're on stage between songs, are you able to keep the crowd engaged? Are you able to talk to the crowd? Or are you scared and you're looking away from the crowd? Are you able to rock a stage by yourself and maybe just your hype man rather than having 30 guys on the stage with you, right? Very, very, very important things um, I need to see at least personally and a lot of other people to see if a rapper is really the one that he claims to be or she claims to be last but not least the swag the drip the style whatever the word is do you have that okay with all those other things that i named earlier you could have all that stuff and you can be completely just somebody that people don't even want to look at kind of thing they're just like yeah not even like a nerd because you got people who are nerds who have now become cool and there's a quote unquote nerd culture is the cool culture now, right? But even Kanye had the pink polo and was the Louis Vuitton Don and that was his equalizer to, to, to have that cool factor. So, you know, it's not necessarily a fashion thing, but are you cool? Do you have the swag? When I'm hearing you just listening to you without even seeing a music video and you're saying these bars, are you saying it in a way where it's like, even if you didn't say the craziest shit, the way you delivered it was with style, right? So that's very important. Do you have that style? Do you have that swag? Do you have that drip? Um, you know, along with all the other things that I named. You have all the combination of all those five things to me. I'm listening to you in my car all the time on repeat. All right. But let me know what you think. OK, what do you look for in a rapper? Um, does it just take one or two of these things for you to be happy and be like, all right, cool. Um, but for me personally, the, the people who I listen to, for example, I'm listening to Future. To me, Future has bars. Future has flows. Future has presence um, on stage. I don't know about Future on stage, but I haven't. I've heard that he hasn't been the craziest performer, but, you know, he has all this and he has the style. Right. So. He has all this. He has four out of five of those things right there. And I'm listening to him in my car regularly. OK, but let me know who do you listen to on the regular and what do you think a rapper needs to be able to uh, be the rapper that you listen to in your car? All right. Um, yeah, that's our top six list or our top 10 list that we have there. Please remember, like the videos. Leave your comments below, like I said, you know what I mean? Comment gang strong and make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're dropping new videos. We're dropping new videos every single day. We got an interview coming real, real soon with Jelly Two Fly and we got ladies all month long, all right? Also, do remember to hit up our website, welovehiphop.ca. That's the hub for all the interviews, breaking news on a regular basis and just craziest the, the the craziest shit and you know make sure to get some we love hip-hop merch all right follow us on all platforms i'm on all platforms at friday ricky dread and hit us hit us up on instagram at we love hip-hop network it's your boy friday ricky dread aka mr morial and i'm out yeah <laughs>